Simon, just over a year ago, you invested in your first five-axis machine here, didn't you, which was an MX from Matsura. Why did you choose that machine? Um, it's, we looked at different markets, different areas. Uh, it was beneficial to us at the time. Um, it's a very, we've done a zone work on the machine. We know what a good machine it is. So that's a real um, honest answer that that's why we got it in the first place. That was a very popular machine. It's a popular seller for Matsura. They've done extremely well. We move on now to the newest machine that you've bought here. Again, it's a Matsura. This is the MX330. I think this is probably going to be even more popular than the 520. When did this machine come here, Simon? This came in, it's only had it three months. It's been a fantastic machine. Um, we're still learning a little bit about the different things that it, that it does and the, the joys of having all the uh, different uh, tools that we can, that's available. So it's... And why was it why was it the 330 this time instead of the 520? I mean, would I be right in saying that the, the working envelope is the same or smaller? What, what about that? Um, we like to go to different sectors. Uh, we, 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 most of it as work at the moment is, is aerospace. Uh, we're trying to get into the other areas, into automotive. This is, we feel this machine will be beneficial in that in that sector as well. So we think that you know that 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 will be something that we can look into. It's important to mention at this time that this is a five-axis machine with a ten-pallet system on it. So it gives you a lot more flexibility, doesn't it? it does. And, and now you're the sales director for the company, so you're you're out there trying to sell the capacity that you have here. Before you would have gone out and, and kind of in your armory, you'd have had a five axis machine, but you'd have always had to have it manned. And that goes for the other machines here. Does this give you something different to sell? Of course it does, yeah. yeah it's, it's, we can go into, as I said, like into different sectors, but we can also we can multi man, we can also run lights out, which is a massive uh, area that we're trying to go into. Uh, with certain materials that we know is going to be, uh, well, most materials that we, that we can machine, we know that they're going to be running lights out and... and so and essentially when you're, when you're quoting a job though now, you can, you can maybe be more competitive, you can look at different yeah. ways of reducing costs. Yeah, that's it. We can chop as a pencil definitely and, and that's um, one of the areas that uh, is key to all, to all uh, suppliers out there. So. I'm going to go and have a word with Alan in a minute about the technical side of this machine. Before I do, a couple of words from you on what Matsura has done for your business in the last year. Yeah, it's been great. Fantastic. We do um, it's something we're going to look into more machinery in the future. Um, everyone's been been on board who's been using the machines. Have been very happy with it. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much, Simon. So I'm now going to talk to Alan, who's uh, who's been heavily involved in this machine. Alan, tell us a little bit about your experience with the the, the pallet system first, since you've had the machine here. The pallet system. It's a yeah, it's 10 pallets. Uh, you can load 10 jobs, have them running lights out, which makes us more competitive in the market. Can you load this while the machine's actually running, while the five axis is machining? Yes, you can load it as, as the machine is running, providing it's coming up to a tool change, you can actually load it. If you start trying to load it, it then stops the machine, which is not what you want. But what you can do then is you could have lots of the same components, or like you've got here, and we've got some great examples of work here, you can have two or three or even four yeah. or even ten yeah. different jobs, couldn't you? Yes, which we have done. We've done where we've had three pallets on one job, three pallets on the next, and three on the other. On all we've done is press go, the machine works the three pallets first, changes the programme, selects the next three pallets, changes the programme again and it selects the next three. The, the first thing that comes into my head here is about the tooling, because it's all right being able to load all these parts, but do you not have to then spend a lot of time changing the tools? Or how many tools can it take? It can take 90 tools. Now, we've set it up where the first 30 tools are general tools. So the engineers that do the programming, like you have a 16 mil, 6, 6 mil, 10, whatever it might be, the first 30 tools are standard. And then anything after that goes in backwards. So, so long as you make sure your carousel's full afterwards, after the 30, you can run whatever job you want. So this really is about unmanned running, isn't it? It's about loading these pallets up, pressing the button and making this machine make you money. Yes, that's, what, that, that's what, exactly what it's all about. To make money, lights out, minimum fuss, minimum handling, and just have it running. And I look at a lot of five-axis machines in the marketplace, Alan, and what, what kind of jumps out at me here is that some of those machines are as big as this with just one station, essentially, but here we've got 11... Uh, 11 stations, 10 plus one, in a very small footprint. Yes, it's very, very compact, and that's a good thing about it. Yeah, and, I, and what I am also thinking here is the swarf, because you are going to be making a lot of swarf. I know this part here is essentially one of the things we've come to look at. 
This is a huge billet on here. What is the biggest size of part you can get on? Now, the biggest billet you're supposed to put on it is 330 mil diameter by 300 high. Now, this is bordering on, on the maximum you can get in. Even though it's not round, it's, it's bordering. It is still pretty sizable yeah. for a machine like this. How much metal removal is coming off this and what are you making? This, this part, we're removing at least 90% of the material. And it's, it's for a part for the uh, automotive uh, industry. So that is the finished part, and this is op one yeah. where you're machining the billet, and then yeah. that is the finished component. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the up one, and that's the finished uh, billet on the fixture. What's just out of interest? What would be the cycle time or the machining time here on this machine? When we initially set it, it was just over three hours, and when we did all the tweaks, we got it down to about two and a half hours. Right. The really interesting part here is this tool in your hand is what you're doing. The milling on. Yeah. How, how deep, how, what sort of depths of cut are you doing on this and what speeds are you running? This 16 mil cutter, we're running at uh, 32 depth, taking 4 mil radial cuts at 15,000 revs and at 7.5 metres per minute. And that is how you get all that material off there in an hour and a half, thanks to the speed and the capability of this machine. Yes, and its rigidity as well. And its rigidity. What about the swarf? Where's all that going? Swarf comes out of the back and we've had to, since we started working lights out, we've had to start getting bigger skips because it just fills it up and it's nowhere else to go. So, And then we have lads coming in at a weekend to actually move the skips to get rid of the swarf. <laughs> so so, so this, the amount of swarf it's producing is incredible. Yeah. You, you're an engineer, you've, you've been in the, in the game a long time. How sort of revolutionary is this machine here for this business for you? How much of a difference is it making? Oh, it's making a big, big difference. If we can keep this machine running, it's, it's, it's a big, big plus for us. For customer satisfaction, getting stuff out on time, that's what we need. So total flexibility and total productivity here at Regal, thanks to the installation of this brand new MX330 10 pallet machine. You can see these machines on Matsura's website or you can alternatively visit MTD CNC to more, see more videos like this. Thank you very much, Alan. Thank you.